upgrade. Brand new Ethan Allen dresser. Yeah. But I had my storage pod brought over there. Mm -hmm. So I got that couch. I put my couch in there, my bed in there. Yeah. So, you know, I had something comfortable. I don't know. Look, I don't need anything fancy. But. But I mean, you know, they'll, you know, curtains, whatever. I mean, your towels, your personal effects. Obviously, you got to supply all that. But you'll get a couch, table, chairs. Yeah. Um, but see, like, I don't know, like, you'll have all your TV hookups and a TV stand. You just gotta put a TV in there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it wasn't bad. You could go out the one end, the one end of the room, into the common hallway, and then where is that at? Where is that at? Grand Island. Just yeah, Grand Island's so expensive, though. The place you want, like, the zoo is open. Uh, 140, 280 a month, 300 a month, 360 a month. It was dirt ass cheap. Yeah, how long ago was that though? I moved from there to here for two years. And um, what's it called? I don't know anymore. You have to go was it like. Uh... It was an old hotel that got converted. Wait, is it that like that starry night or whatever? No, you got the one if you're. Get off. You got that one on the, on the um, left hand side that looks like the base hotel, that shithole. This is right next to the certified auto brokers. Like by Wendy's? You have the field and then you have the um, repair shop. It's kind of like in the back with like an angled driveway? No. No. This has got the driveway, so width of the, of the property. There's no curbs, there's no nothing. You just pull in. Yeah. I don't know. I was on the side that faced the back parking lot of the uh, of the dealership. Mm -hmm. So, I, like, all their trades and shit that came in, I saw everything that, that was there. Yeah. I don't know. It's just it's just literally all stressing me out. And that place, you're, you're week to week, month to month. I think I know what you're talking about. I can't think of the name of it, though. Yeah, it's a good... Right. No. Like, my thing is, like... If I just, if I go south, I'm not going to have to worry about that because, yeah, it's not the most ideal situation, you know, but I'm just not going to have to worry about, okay, is it going to be below freezing temps out today? Like, that's like my biggest thing. Like, that's what makes, what makes me so nervous. And like, I'm thankful that you're letting me stay here, you know, but it's like. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I have anxiety. Well, I don't have anxiety. It's some. It's similar to. So like that doesn't help. Like it's like, I don't know. Cause like what I have, like it's literally. It's similar to like PTSD. It's I take things that I'm nervous about, and I react. And then I overreact about what I've gone through that I haven't really gone through yet. Right. Well, no, I don't want to. All the way the fuck up there. Right. To assign a short term lease for a furnished studio in Amherst. Yeah, but how much would that be, though? Five, six hundred bucks a month. I can only afford like six fifty a month is like my max budget. Like that's leaving me four hundred sixty dollars a month. All you can do is go there, look at the sign, call the number, and say, "What's the deal?" Yeah. What's he gonna do? Tell you it's seven fifty. Okay, not interested. Thanks. Right. And unless he uses wool. 
No, maybe he'll do something. Right. He'll explain the situation, possible transfer, yada, yada. You don't want to get it in long term. Yeah. Right. Or just walk in the front door and, and see if there's a bill of type for a property manager. Because usually, at least it was, you come in the front door. First department on the left was the, the cool property manager. Yes. Anything available? Great. How much? Okay. Can I see it? I think they're they want like they want a month. They want like like a week or two. Um, security. Oh my gosh, you're like five hundred bucks to move in or whatever the, the breakdown is. I don't think it was. I don't think it was $300 a month. I really don't think it was that much. Might have been four. Right. 
These people on this app are crazy. Earlier, I'm on this app now. Hold on. I'm on this thing now because my one friend here texted me. She's like, what's going on? There's something fishy. And I was like, what do you mean? And there's people, there's like 175 people on here. Sabrina, I'm trying to figure out what's going on in here. Anyway, so um, these people are getting mad. And they're saying because I'm talking to you and not to them. They're like, that guy in their background can't hear. I can't hear what's going on. <laughs> I don't understand. See, people blow things out of proportion. Like, all the time. Hmm. I know. Well, because it all started because I explained the situation with my dad on basically what he did last week and then why I'm out of the And out of the house. Or, that was one of those things, like I said, that yeah. story really didn't need to be broadcast. Well, no. Well, someone asked. I'm not going to sit there and hide anything, you know? Oh, so, but this was, like, with, like, five people, like, five people there. But, anyway. So, I explained, like, the situation, what happened. And then my one friend, Josh, he asked people to help because, like, I literally had, like, literally $5 in my account. So I'm just like, yeah, like I have no other option right now. Like, why else would I be in three degree weather sleeping in my vehicle, you know? So, like, I explained the situation. Then, like, my, one guy, um, Josh, he asked for like people like to help and stuff like that. And you know, then oh, that's common. That's common. Yeah, but people are just being dramatic now. So. I don't know. I don't understand. They think you're my dad. <laughs> hey, daddy. Now they said, so you are no longer homeless. Guys, hold on. Guys, no, I'm literally staying here for the night. I thought you lived with your dad, my dad. I don't know. Oh, Are you homeless or not? No. Um. Yeah, I'm still living in my vehicle. I just have somewhere to stay tonight. I went lunch with a friend. Who the fuck? I went with Nancy. What's up? Looks nice. There's this black guy she works with. Yeah. Went with him. I'm like. He's like, why you have a problem with that? No, actually, I kind of respect the guy. His mother. He works three jobs. He needs to stop texting at 5.15 in the morning and 11 o'clock mm -hmm. at night, but we 
Yeah, because she would. Does she still call you every morning? Really? Well, probably because what you said about the job situation, and she's probably just mad at you. Yeah, I work a guy thing. Well, as it turns out, she called this morning. Mm-hmm. But when she called me when she left work, I said, you know, what the hell? I, you were kind of a bitch last night. Just, you, you said, shit was going on. Yeah. You know, everything okay. But don't fucking worry about it. I'm like, you said shit was going on. So I didn't know if no, can't. the kids or some other shit was happening. So This is not from you. You want to get pissed off at me for being fucking... Wait, I don't know what you're talking about. I've known Josh like two weeks. You cannot talk to me. Yeah. For a second. What the fuck happened? Well, the hot water tank at the house like that. Mm. So she's like, I had to stay at my parents' house. Like, yeah, guys, Josh, hard to help. I'm like, okay. And Sabrina. All you do is say, hot water tank pop, can't stay home. I'm like, you could have come and stay here. Mm hmm. Well, I had loads No, that's not Josh. Home. So she stayed at her parents. Mm-hmm. And my thought is, why the fuck couldn't the kids stay home first? Because the other child did, the ex did. But. But yeah, she didn't yeah. stay at her parents' house. So. See, but she does like. Okay, you didn't give her attitude, so I don't know why she's being bitchy to you, you know? Well, even like what you said about how her tone just changes when you call her out, you know? She was like, she was taking anger over the one thing that I did when I, when I said, okay, something's not going on. Yeah. Did I take it too far? Oh, man, I fucking crossed that line like a fucking dead fighter. Mm. I was way out of line with everything that happened. Yeah. I admit that, okay? Don't fucking hold it against me forever. Right. Okay? It's done. It's happened. Mm-hmm. Let it go. Like, well, Niagara Falls. I can never, ever forget that New York. shit. Like, really? Yeah, well, she has to understand people get attitudes. They get pissed off, you know? She, will, she thinks that, well, I have guy friends. Okay. Great. I never said you can't have friends, but guys that used to fuck, I think, need to be introduced and we need to set some ground rules so they know enough to stay the fuck away. Mm-hmm. That would be my thing. And I told her, I said, look, I said, when I told you I helped out Angela, the girl who touched my hair, I said, I told you I helped her out. The first thing I did is said, she moved. The first thing she said, she got bitch. She said, what, you fucking move right with you? I said, no. Moved into her own place first. Mm -hmm. Needed some help. So I said, okay, I need a haircut. I have no money. You need right. help. We'll trade. I said, what, you two fucking doing each other now? You over me? No. And for her to ask that question indicates in my mind and everybody that's the same that she, all she's trying to do is it's transparent. She's trying to take her anger over one thing and project it over everything that ever happened. Every good time, everything that was that was great, every every time we went out and had a great time and everything. She's trying to take that anger and blanket it back over everything. I said, you need to take your head out of your ass and stop that shit. If you're mad about something, fine. Be mad about it. Mm -hmm. Deal with it. Get over it. I'm supposed to talk to her tomorrow. Briefly. She's like, well, I don't know if I'm going to have time to talk tomorrow. I said, yeah, I know what you got going on. I am shit with my parents. I don't feel good. Eh, whatever. And apparently, at least via text. She has to talk to the freaking Tony guy in a couple of days. But I know through Facebook they have and they've been canoodling at work. Mm -hmm. 
but like get fucking over it. Deal. You know, the fact that every time I turned around, she was saying, well, you know, what'd you do at work? Oh, you know, it was a shitty day. Okay. And she's, you know, with that, I, at the time, I could see what she was spending. So, went out for lunch day. Yeah, okay. Well, did you go for a walk? Well, my friend Tony and I went to lunch, and, and I'm like, well, how often do you guys go to lunch? Well, three, four times a week. I'm like, you spend more fucking time with this guy than you spend with me. Isn't that a problem? And the fact that they were together, and allegedly they, they quote, decided that that didn't work and they were just good friends. Yeah. And then till now, she, um, she still wants me to believe that nothing happened. I'm like, I, I can't go there. I almost believe that with Tony, if something might not have happened, almost. I'm that close to believing her. But I got two other examples. I don't know. I mean, you're stressing over her, but why? It's you so, are stressing though. It's more so it's not stress. It's like either shit or get off the pot. Either you're you're going to just say I'm fucking angry. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. and, but don't return a text. Don't return a call. Every time you do that, you're showing me that you're still actively participating in this. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, Roger, at airport now, almost home, and left me hanging. Wendy, i sorry, I was a little tipsy, we left about 9.30. Roger, it's okay. Wendy, uh, a lot tipsy, lol. Roger, not really, but it's okay, ha ha ha, same here, Wendy, maybe next time. Um, he says, we will see soccer moms like lol do. Uh, Roger could have been fun. Wendy, what could be fun? Uh, Answer to erase the messages to lock her phone. Um, wants her to join this KIK messenger. You know what that is? What? KIK messenger. Uh, it's like an app, like a yeah. So December 10th, uh, two days after, hey, you remember me, you divorced, it's been a year now, you look great. Um, no, I don't really can't forget you, know I'm unforgettable. Uh, just finished in November, you got a soccer mom, while mine was quick. Mm. Mm -hmm. So how's my aunt? Yeah, I'm going to be Don't worry. Give me credit. Oh, uh, here it is. Her, me too, but struggling to lose weight, but haven't gained any since I last saw you. I don't know when the last time you saw this fucking guy. Um, his response is now next time you come to the city, can't you just stop by? The single thing with work. Roger, well, I would have fucked you then, so don't change anything. Her response is I'd love to. I mean, not in the bathroom, but you know what I mean. Uh, well, it was time to sleep. Four fifty comes quickly. Talk tomorrow. Messages for free. I'm always around. Sweet dreams. Don't be strange. Do you either? Promise. Yes. December seventeenth. Tried getting her to come down to New York right before Christmas when things were still okay with us. Uh, for the holidays, possibly. Would love to see you for the holidays. Love to see you too.
Roger's that guy that you showed me, right? No, Roger's the guy in New York. Okay. I back with Gerald at his place. I was scratching her. Otherwise, I trust me, I would have. She's like, oh, yeah, that's right. We would finish what we started. Her response to, you know, about us that night. You, yep, someone walked in on us, ran to him. I agree totally. Oh, no, I think it was Ron. It's okay. He don't care. I haven't seen them in a while. When he responds, he cool. Her response, that's good. I know I missed them. i talking to him still. You know. So, some shit happened. I'm just like, if this, is not, if this is what you want, how you want to be treated, fine, just tell me. You know, you want to be a tramp, be a tramp. But every time you you respond to me, and I, I throw meatballs in a little plate, I, mm-hmm. one that she can't help but swing at when she contacts and it's more so psychology. <laughs> I called her in and said, look, I said, I'm going to send you something over the weekend. Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, somewhere in there. I don't know when just yet. I'm going to scan an article that I'd like you to read. And I got a couple of things I want to say to you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask you to honestly read everything acknowledge the fact that you've read it all. Now, you can lie to me and say that you did and when you didn't. Whatever. Right. But acknowledge that you've read it. And if you've read it, you'll understand and you'll see there are certain things in there that I've asked for a response to. And I'll, I'll wait I'll watch for my response. And I pretty much know what, what it's going to take for her and how long it's going to take. So it's basically spelled out for it. Look, this shit needs to end. You're trying to be angry about everything that's that's happened, even the good shit. Well, you can't be mad about the good shit. So get your head out of your ass. Here's how here's how I need it to be. And me being out of work has put me in a in a position where she basically lost respect for me, being sick, being out of work. You know, I lost my alpha role. The last few days with the interviews and stuff. The other day I got up, showered, ironed a shirt, <coughs> got dressed, and I don't do selfies. Like, why would you say that to somebody that you're, you're trying to actively tell yourself that you fucking hate? One friend yeah. Michelle, she's like, that girl's toxic. Get the fuck away. She's not. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know. She's like, she no, is. Get the fuck away. And I'm like, Michelle, I said, we're that easy. He's like, really? I said, really. He says, she's really that deep into you. I said, well, knowing each other as long as we have, everything that's happened over the years. I said, and if she truly was pissed off as she says she is, she would respond. She would yeah, not at least I can go back. It's just not safe for me. So, Sorry. Take care of your call. No, no, you're fine. No, I've been having this for like 20 minutes with you. With you. It's okay. You know, just the fact that she keeps responding, she keeps calling me in the morning, she keeps calling me on her drive home. And she, in her voice, she's telling me she fucking, she's mad at me. Sabrina, she hold on. Me. Her actions mm-hmm. speak differently. Well, you said that, like, psychologically, like, and you're women, reading her. Logic. It's right. All, it's all emotion. Yeah, no. Women really are all, I mean, not all women, but majority it's, are. It's emotion. Right. It's not, it's not logic. And I'm logical. So I, I have to. I'll spin it. I'll spin it. I'll get her to. Sabrina, hold day. on, please. And when I do, it'll get everything to a spot where it'll be one of those things where it's okay, we're going to look into this again. 
There has to be 100% transparency, 100% nothing hidden. So when I say to her, when I, when I, tell her, when I say to you, unlock your phone, mm-hmm. unlock it and hand it to me. Don't cringe. Don't give me That's a okay, Anna. Give me attitude. Hand it. Did she do it? That's what I'm going to get into with what I have to tell her this weekend. Oh, my ears. When I when I secure the fact and I'm I'm satisfied with the fact that I know that she's not doing anything stupid, yeah, well, then things can move forward a little bit. Is that corn? Oh, are you using it? No, it was earlier. Um. Yeah. I don't put it on the other on the other side of that equation. I'll tell her. You want me to unlock my phone? Unlock the phone. I'll give I'll give you the phone cord code. Phone cord cord. Phone code. All right. I'll give you my Facebook password. In fact, all you do is sit down at this machine. Mm-hmm. I'll give you my login password well, and you can look at everything in there. Right. And there's shit in there that I probably don't want her to see that I forgot is in there. I wouldn't separate the cords, just take the second cord. I didn't mean to. The one just came out of the wall. And these two are connected. And, well, see what's going on with it. Have at it. Yeah. I get nothing to hide, nothing. Well, I tell, like, I tell everyone, like, like, exes, things like that, you know? I'm like, if you want to go through my phone, like, there's nothing I have to hide, you know? Right, and like, okay, like, come across a bad picture, like, it was probably just me looking at myself, you know? She's holding on to something. All I did was I plugged that cube you, into that. You did that. Hold that. No, I did that. I did not do that, though. You did that. <laughs> no, all you had to do was just stretch Oh, it okay. <laughs> That's what I did. And plug in that 